now you recall identity which we discuss in the last class so in that first one a plus b whole square so what is the meaning a plus b whole square means a plus b into a plus b so is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab so this is the first identity so second one a minus b whole square suppose any number or expression in the form of a minus b into a minus b so you apply this one so a square plus b square so almost same up to here so minus 2ab so only changes in the negative so third one you have x a plus b into a minus b so it, this one is a minus b into a minus b so this one is a plus b into a plus b so now a plus b into a minus b you can write a square minus b square so this is the third identity so fourth one so unique one so x plus a into x plus b so here the first term is same and the second second one is different so one is a one is b so you can expand like this x square plus a plus b of x plus a b so now simplify some more problems using these four identities now you see the first problem x minus y whole square minus x plus y whole square so you can do that two methods so in that first one so you take this one as a so this full x minus y you take it as a this full x plus y take it as b so you have you know that a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so this full you considered as a square minus b square so you write in terms of a plus b a minus b you have a identity third identity so i write here a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square using this one so this is a this one is b is equal to a plus b so x minus y so this is a plus b x plus y so this is a plus b now so a minus b so a plus b into a minus b so x minus y minus so x minus y is a minus of x plus y so this is b so a plus b a minus b understood so next so minus y plus y get cancels you get x plus x 2x here x minus y you take inside the negative sign you get minus x and minus into plus minus y and here x and minus x get cancels x and minus x get cancels you get 2x and here minus 2y minus 2y so 2 2 is a 4 so minus plus into minus minus 2 2 is a 4 x y so minus 4 x y is the final answer so we have to go through the one more method we have to go to one more method so that is a so i write the question one more time x minus y whole square minus x plus y whole square so apply first identity a second identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab so you write now x square a square plus b square that means y square minus 2xy so expansion of this one is x square plus y square minus 2xy minus of so a plus b whole square so that means x square plus y square plus 2xy so next x square plus y square so minus 2xy as it is now you take the negative sign inside you get minus x square so minus into plus minus y square so minus into plus minus 2xy 
see here plus x square cancel with minus x square so y square is cancel with minus y square the remaining minus 2xy minus 2xy you get minus 4xy minus 4xy so both answers are same minus 4xy minus 4xy so here you use it third identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square and here you use it first and second so here you use a plus b whole square here you use it a minus b whole square so now you see the one more problem it is similar to first one you can try both the methods but i do that only first one method so 4x plus 7 you considered as a so this full term as a and this full you considered as a b so now so a square minus b square so you write a plus b into a minus b so what is the value of a 4x plus 7 b the value of b is 4x minus 7 minus so a plus b into a 4x plus 7 so what is the value of b a minus 4x minus 7 so 4x see here plus 7 and minus 7 get cancels and here you get 4 plus 4 you get 8x 4x plus 4x you get 8x so now here 4x plus 7 as it is now you take inside negative sign inside the bracket so minus 4x so minus into minus plus 7 so plus 4x and minus 4x get cancels you get 8x 7 plus 7 you get 14 so 14 into 8 you get 112 x so 14 into 8 you get 112 x so now you see the third problem so 5 by 3 x square minus 3 by 5 y square whole square plus 2x square y square see here it is look like second identity you have to apply second identity so apply so a minus b whole square so you write a square plus b square minus 2ab so a value is this one now so 5 by 3 x square whole square so this is a a value square minus plus b value 3 by 5 y square whole square so b square a square plus b square minus 2 a value 5 by 3 x square b value 3 by 5 y square plus the remaining 2x square y square as it is 2x square y square as it is see here 5 by 3 x square 5 by 3 x square whole square means 5 by 3 x square into 5 by 3 x square two times so 5 into 5 you get 25 so 3 into 3 9 x square into x square x to the power 4 plus here similarly 3 square you get 9 5 square you get 25 y square into y square you get y to the power 4 minus see here so 5 and 5 get cancels so here 3 1s are 3 1s are the remaining minus 2 x square y square x square y square and the 2x square y square as it is plus 2x square y square as it is see here 1 is minus 1 is plus it cancels each other the final answer 25 by 9 x to the power 4 plus 9 by 25 y to the power 4 so next problem x square plus x plus 1 into x square minus x plus 1 you have to make one rearrangement to apply a plus b into a minus b you have to make one rearrangement so that is x square plus 1 plus x and x square 
plus 1 minus x. So this full you considered as a. So this one is b. So here a. So you see that x square plus 1, x square plus 1 a. And this one is b. So a plus b, a minus b. So third identity a plus b, a minus b. So we have to apply a square minus b square. So what is the value of a? x square plus 1. So write a square. So x square plus 1 whole square. So a square minus b square. So that means x square. So it is looked like a plus b whole square. So a x square plus 1 whole square. So a plus b whole square. A value is x square and the b value is 1. So you write a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So a square, so x square whole square plus b square 1 square plus 2x square into 1 minus x square as it is. So now x, x square into x square you get x to the power 4. So 1 into 1 you get 1 plus 2x square minus x square. So finally x to the power 4 plus 1 2x square minus x square. So like terms so you have to subtract 2 minus 1 you get x square. The final answer x to the power 4 plus 1 plus x square. So next problem x plus 3 into x minus 3 into x square plus 9. So a plus b into a minus b. It is look like a plus b and a minus b. First two terms. First two expressions a plus b into a minus b. So this is a b a b. So you write a square minus b square. So that means x square minus 3 square. So x square plus 9 as it is. So this one as it is. So x square 3 square you get 9. So x square plus 9. See this one more time a plus b. So is in the form of a plus b a minus b. So a plus b is here a minus b is here. So a square minus b square you write in terms of a square minus b square. So this is a plus b a minus b. So you write a square minus b square. So what is the value of a? x square whole square minus b value 9 square. So x square into square x square into x square you get x to the power 4 9 square 9 into 9 you get 81. So x to the power 4 minus 81. Yeah. So now we go through sixth problem x minus y into x plus y y minus z into y plus z z minus x into z plus x. See here is in the form of a plus b a minus b you write a square minus b square. So this is also a plus b a minus b a plus b a minus b. So you write in terms of a square minus b square third identity. So write x minus y x plus y so you write x square minus y square. So next here y minus z y plus z so you write y square minus z square plus so z minus x into z plus x you write z square minus x square. See here x square so plus x square cancel with the minus x square and minus y square is cancel with the plus y square. So minus z square is cancelled with the plus z square. The final answer you get 0. You get 0. So next 3x plus 2y, 3x minus 2y into 9x square plus 4y square. So 3x plus 2y, 3x minus 2y. So a plus b, a minus b it is look like. So now you write a square. So that means 3x whole square minus 2y whole square. So a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. Square. 9x square plus 
y square. So 3x whole square you get 3 3 is a 9 x into x x square. So 3x into 3x you get 9x square. Similarly, 2y into 2y you get 4y square into 9x square plus 4y square. So one more time it is a plus b into a minus b. So a a b b correct. So apply. So a square minus b square. So that means 9x square whole square minus 4y square whole square. So 9x square whole square means 9x square into 9x square. So 9 9 is 81 x to the power 4. So right. 81 x to the power 4. Similarly, 4 4 is 16. Y square y square you get y to the power 4. The final answer 81 x to the power 4 minus 16 y to the power 4. So now you see that 8 1. If x square plus y square is equal to 13 and xy is equal to 6, they given x square plus y square is 13 and xy is 6. Then find we have to find x plus y and x minus y. So you know that the first identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So apply here. So in terms of x plus y. So x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy. So now x plus y square you don't know. So x square plus y square the value they given 13 and the value of xy also they given so 2 of 6 so here you write as it is x plus y whole square so the x plus y is unknown now so x plus y whole square is equal to 13 plus 12 so x plus y whole square is equal to 25 so that means 5 into 5 25 you can return as 5 into 5 so what is the meaning of x plus y whole square x plus y into x plus y two times so then what is the value of 1 x plus y therefore x plus y you get 5 so you have 2 x plus y here x plus y into x plus y so here you have 5 into 5 then value of x plus y is equal to 5 similarly x minus y you know that x square so x minus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square minus 2xy so now you substitute so x minus y whole square you don't know as it is so x square plus y square they given 13 minus 2xy 6 so x minus y whole square is it 2 6 are 12 13 minus 12 you get 1 so but 1 can return as 1 into 1 therefore x minus y is equal to 1 so from in that lesson we have to see that algebraic expressions definitions and addition addition of algebraic expressions subtraction of algebraic expressions and multiplication and in that multiplication of algebraic expression using identities. So, thank you.